In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 2003 on UCS system. I am showing on the Blade server, but it is similar in any C series server too. So let's gather the detail which we will need during and after installation. First, we need Windows 2003 CD. So I already copied the ISO for Windows 2003 into my local computer. Windows 2003 don't have any driver for the LSI controller. So we need to provide additional driver. You can get the driver from the Cisco site based on your firmware version. I'm using 131C firmware. So I have downloaded the driver for that specific version. And you also need to make sure that like what kind of the LSI controller you are using. So you can find the LSI controller under your server, under inventory click on the storage and you can see what kind of the storage controller you have so that's 1064e second thing windows 2003 always looking for the drive a during the installation but if we don't have any physical uh, floppy drive in our system we can use the virtual floppy drive software i have one virtual soft, uh, floppy drive software which i'm going to use during the installation you can click on VFD Win. Click on Open and provide the path for your driver. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to install the Windows 2003. So let me mount, let me open the KVM console first and let me mount. Windows 2003 CD. Let's map it and also add the floppy drive because we need the driver for that one in which we have in A drive and you can also map this one too. Okay, now let's start your server. You need to make sure that like CD room uh, is your first options in your boot room. If not, you can select press F6 and select which media through which media you want to boot. Here, press F6 to get the boot menu. So I'm pressing F6. And now we are entering into boot, boot selection menu. Okay. I'm selecting Cisco Virtual CD DVD. Press any key to boot from CD. click on the details too so you can see that like which files are you can see it's reading from this DVD CD and at this point it is looking for the additional LSI driver and it is taking the driver from floppy Now press enter, license agreement, create the partitions according to your requirement. I am just deleting the old partitions. And creating a Fifty gig partitions. I'll leave the other space later on for other use. Format the partitions with NTFS file system.
select your language provide name provide serial key select your licensing per server provide computer name provide administrator password click next select your time zone Okay, so Windows 2003 installation is done. Let me log in. Now, after Windows installation, we need to provide uh, drivers for chipset for the network card and for the HPA card. So, let's click on my computer right click manage under device manager you can see we need to provide the drivers for the chipset for the ethernet controller and for the fiber channel controller so let's unmap windows cd and floppy and I'm mapping right now driver CD which has all the chipset drivers and fiber channel uh, fiber controller drivers as soon as you mount that one you can see this folder can be open here So for the windows, let's first install the chipset drivers. This is for the B200 Blitz for Windows 2003 and click on setup.exe. So if you can see, it is right now installing. Okay, so now chipset drivers are done. Now we need to install the fiber channel controller driver. You can click on update driver. And provide the specific path. Okay, so we mount it. Okay, and here under Windows, 
we need to provide the driver for the HPA. QLogic. So I know I have a QLogic adapter and if you have an MLX or some other adapter then you can use that one. So you can make sure whether what kind of the adapter you have. So you can click on your server and under HPAs you can find what kind of the adapters you have. So I know I have a QLogic and that's why I have provided the driver for the QLogic. If you have an MLX you need to provide the driver for the MLX. Click OK. finish okay so one fiber channel adapter is installed now let's install for the second one same process okay so now we need to install the driver for the ethernet controller so for ethernet controller let me unmap this one and you need to download the driver from the intel side i already downloaded the driver from the intel side so i need to mount this uh, iso so let me add this one Click yes. Click next. License agreement. And you need to download the driver for the 82598. Okay, click on finish. And let's make sure whether installing issue on this one. So open your device manager and see is there any yellow exclamation? No, everything looks good. So we install the network adapter driver successfully. This is how we can install the Windows 2003. 2003 installation is done. So we installed Windows 2003 32-bit. Similar way you can install the 64-bit. And we installed on the UCSB series. You can install the same way on the UCSA series. Thanks for watching this video.